moving on to the activity after task db4 it moves on to web authoring and uh, over here you see a website a layout of a website uh, two layouts have been shown over here one is at night all stars another one is brosna bias okay so anyway uh, let's come to the question question goes is activity 3 using web authoring software you may use any appropriate software for this activity i will be using dreamweaver adobe dreamweaver uh, to complete this web page okay so sami has started to create a website for croatian badminton league uh, the website will have a home page and the address of the home page will be index.html and a page for each team in the league okay so sami has already created at night all stars and brosna all stars okay these are the addresses for them at night.html and brosna.html so the two pages that he has created is shown here as a picture okay so he has created these two pages already uh, your task is to create create web pages for the four other teams okay so the web page must use a dark blue sans serif font have a yellow pale yellow background it should inc include links to the home page the address is index.html and other team pages the logo should be there it should be in the top left hand corner <coughs> uh, appropriate information for each team selected from the file web pages make sure you have that file web pages yes we do have that file so we should be supposed to take the correct information from these documents from this document and uh, if you move on so the first thing goes on to say okay uh, create four web pages using the layout shown in the screenshot in web pages okay so uh, uh, this is the layout we are supposed to be following okay so uh, let's get started what I'm going to be doing is uh, first we are going to be creating the click a web page okay so I'm going to be using dreamweaver open dreamweaver over here and uh, First thing that I'm going to be doing is uh, getting my layout set. So I want a blank HTML play page, and uh, so I'm right now in design view. So I'm going to go for insert table. Okay, putting information into a table is very much more easier. So let's go back to the question. Look at the layout. Layout goes as one column, two columns, three columns. So there are basically three columns: one, two, and three. And there are two rows okay so we're gonna get that done two rows three columns and it's always good to keep the table width at 100% so it doesn't matter on which screen you view the web page it will exactly fit the width okay so instead of using pixels always make sure it is 100% if you want you can keep a border if not you can make it zero so I'm going to say okay and over here my table has come out and uh, I'm going to try and get the layout done straight away so you can see the second column and third column of the first row have been merged let me do that as well second and third select right click table merge cells control alt m is a shortcut key and then over here you can see the logo is supposed to be coming over here so what i'm going to be doing is instead of going to insert image and locating it what i'm going to be doing is going to my folder and here i do have the logo cbl right click copy and coming over here and saying control v or i click and paste so it warns you about the path okay so you say okay and then alternate text means in case the image does not load is there any text you want displayed so you can simply say logo and say okay so your logo has a put over there it's way too big so from the corners always make it smaller while pressing the shift key okay so i select from the corners i'm holding the shift key making it smaller so now it becomes smaller proportionally okay and then i just come and double click on this and then drag this back into that area and over here the heading is supposed to be coming crucian badminton league so let me type it in all caps crucian badminton league that's done as well don't forget this is your main heading so we got to make it heading one right click paragraph format heading one okay that's done too then over here we have all our other web pages so let me press windows left bring that on that side and this window is right so I can clearly see what I'm typing so first I have home then I have at need all stars then I have brosna bears then I have tricky cults then I have dovia dragons and then I have Uri eagles and then fountain firestorm okay just notice all of them are center aligned so i'll do the same over here select all of this right click align center 
and then do not forget let's create the hyperlinks now itself okay so they told you home should be going to index.html so you just select this and uh, over here at the bottom inside the paragraph tag you can see link you can type the address over there or else you can simply right click make it a link and say you want it to go to this url called triple w dot not triple w dot just simply index dot html this is the address of the home page Anything click on ok and then at night all stars 2 they gave us the address they said it's called at night html so i'm just going to select this and i'm going to type the address over here it's going to be at need dot html press enter thereafter then also for brosna there's they told us the address is brosna dot html so i'm going to select that over there and type here brosna dot html press enter there too now i'm supposed to also create links for these pages now click equals i'm currently working on thereafter i'm going to be working on these three other pages as well now when I save these pages, I'm going to be saving this as Click A, the other one is Dovi, and the other one AI, and the other one is Fantaine. Okay, so what I'm doing is even though I haven't created these web pages yet, I'm now itself going to create a link. So once I create the web page, automatically it will get linked. Okay, so just watch what I do. I select this text, I go to my folder, and I tell the computer inside my 2018 folder, there will be a fo Let me come to the desktop and tell my computer inside 2018. I'm going to be creating a document called, uh, what is the file I'm dealing right now with? Uh, right now I'm dealing with click here, right? So I'm going to tell my computer, click a dot html, okay? So once I save my document, so I say click a dot html and click okay. Now there is no such address like this at the moment, but once I save this page as click a, then automatically this link will get connected to it, okay? The same applies for Drovia Dragons as well. At the moment, there is no such page as uh, dovia.html, okay? But I'm creating it already, dovia.html. I'm trying to connect to a page called dovia, which hasn't been created yet. Make sure in the 2018 folder, say okay. Okay, it says uh, should be saved first, okay? So now once I create the dovia page and save it, then automatically this link will start to work. Okay, the same for this as well. Right click, make it a link, make sure you're in the 2018 folder because that is where you will be saving your file. So make sure you're inside that folder and then just say read.html. That's where the uh, link should be going to. Say okay. Then same for Fantaine as well. Right click, make it a link. Tell the computer, when click, it should go to a document called Fantaine.html, which you will be creating later on. Okay, so now your hyperlinks also have been done. And then over here, if you continue with the text, over here, the title of the page has to come, which is, this is click a call. So I'm just going to type a click. It's all capitals. Yeah, it's all in capitals. So let me change this also into all caps. Click a calls. And then let me also center, make this heading two. Right click, paragraph format, heading two. Also, let me align this to the center. That's done too. Then what's supposed to be happening next? The text is supposed to come. So click here, calls text is over here. I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to come over here and paste it. Uh, let's center align this also just like how the layout showed us. Right click, align, oops, sorry, align center. Uh, that's done too. Uh, okay. Then just remember there was a few other things here. It says use a dark blue sensory font. So make sure you can, what you can do is you can come to format, uh, sorry, you can come to modify page properties, okay? And over here you can come to the text color should be dark blue. So let's go for something like this. And uh, they said it should be a sans serif font, a font which has no curves in it or anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for, here you can see there's something called sans serif. I'm just going to go with uh, this one over here, okay? and say apply okay so you see everything becomes blue and a sensory font has been applied uh, also do not forget a pale yellow background so once again we come to modify page properties that option is also over here inside the body tag you have page properties background color should be pale yellow let me go for something like this apply okay that too is done and uh, then finally what do we have uh, Include links to the other pages. We did that. Logo 2, we have done. A property information 2, we have done. Uh, we have to include the image calls you saved in part B. Okay, so let me come over here. The image calls, right click, copy, 
come over here and say paste uh, say okay alternate text we can just say quotes so image is way too big so let me come to the corners go right to the bottom and while pressing the shift key make it smaller if that too is done then let me just double click so it will all auto fit one minute oops sorry uh, let me So we are over here. Oh, where is it? I seem to find that the button. Okay, just double click that, the whole thing fits. Uh, okay, so click here seems to be okay. Save the web page as click here. So now what I'm going to do is save as, make sure you keep it the same name in the 2018 folder as click a.html. Okay, so you click save. Okay, your web page has been saved. Now we are supposed to be creating a Dovia page, a OE page, and a fan 10 page. Okay, and all of them are going to be using the same layout. Only this text is going to change and the image is going to change. So what I'm going to do is, instead of creating a new page from scratch, I'm just going to save, save as, and I'm going to be saving this web page as Dovia. Okay, Dovia.html, Dovia.html, save it. Okay, so I have one for click here, one for Dovia, and over here I'm just going to be changing this into Dovia Dragons and then over here I'm just going to be copying the Dovia Dragons information Control C come over here and paste it uh, just do a quick change make it center that too is done delete the picture and what picture are we supposed to be putting let's check uh, include an appropriate image from the images folder so I'm just going to go with uh, anything like maybe serving so Control C and I'm going to be pasting it over here. Control V. Dovia drag. Sorry. Dovia dragons. Okay, that's also done. So now what we're just going to do is save this. And then we're going to do on to our next page. This is also done. Now for a eagles, we're going to do one. So file save as re.html. Let's get that as well. So now we have three web pages. I'm just going to be changing this into Uri Eagles and getting the information of Uri Eagles over there. Control C and Control V and then just saying align center. Delete this picture and get another picture. Maybe this one would do it. Control C, Control V. We can say Uri Eagles. Okay, so that too is done. Uh, then, uh, what do we say? We have already saved our web page. Let's just go and resave it. Save. And then we need one more for fan 10. So uh, let's come over here and say file save as fan 10. And click on save. That too is done. Uh, let's just, just change this to what's the name here. So we have to go for what do they call fan 10 firestorm okay so we change this to fan 10 firestorm just copy and paste the information from over here to over here and then we just come to a line center delete this picture get a suitable picture which I think this would do fine let's come over here paste that say fan 10 Firestorm. It's a bit too big. Let's make it by pressing the shift key. Just double click on this. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that too is done. So let's save it. So now our four web pages have been created. Over here you can see we have the four web pages. Then it goes on to say make sure your web pages are fit for purpose. So what we'll do is just do a quick examination of a uh, quick uh, examine of how the web pages are. So I just open click A. And uh, then what I'm going to do, be doing is I'm going to just be clicking on uh, not click A, will anyway come back to click A, Dovia Dragons, and then Harry Eagles, and then Phantom Storm, Dovia Dragons. So yeah, it seems to be working well. Of course, when you click on Home, it's going to be going to index HTML. When you click on Browse it's going to Browse HTML, and when you click on App Map All Stars, it's going to App Map HTML. So it's working quite well, working quite fine. 
uh, then let's go on to the next question. It says open a new document using word processing software. Okay, so we can do this part. Task WA1. WA1. Uh, so new word document. Uh, task WA1. Open it. <clears throat> and immediately go into the footer. And we type over here task WA1. Your name, candidate number, center number. That is done too. And then it goes on to say, uh, for each of the four pages you created, display the page on the screen. Make sure all content is visible. Take a screenshot. Paste a screenshot in task WA1. So let's get started with that. Let's start at the first page. Everything is visible. Take a screenshot. Print screen. Come here. Paste it. Then make sure you go into the next page. Uh, sorry. Which is Dovia Dragons. Take a screenshot. Paste it. Let me remind you at this point that if you are if your, if your print screen button is not working or you cannot find it, you can always use the snipping tool option. Just go to start and type snipping tool. Print screen. Come over here. Enter. Paste it. And uh, finally, the last one, Fantan Firestorm. Now, this isn't fitting one page. So, what I'll do is I'll press Control minus together. So, it zooms out. And now, the page fits one screen. Print screen. And what I'll do is I'll come over here. Enter. Paste it. So I have four screenshots of each of the web pages over here. And then moving on, it says make sure that all content of each web page is clearly visible. Okay. Resave task WA1. Okay. And then it goes on to say answer these questions on docu document task WA1. I, on one of the screenshots, on one of the screenshots, identify one formatting technique that you used. Okay. So what I'm going to talk about is I'm going to talk about the fact that I use various headings. So uh, what I'll do is I'll use shapes. I'll draw one shape over here, and then I'll draw another shape over here. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll draw a text box over there, and I'll say used different levels of headings, and then it goes on to say uh, used it. So this is H1 and this is H2, isn't it? So now I go on to give one reason for using this technique. So let me label the question numbers as well. So the first one, this is the second one. The reason I used this was uh, I used different levels of headings so that users who view the page, let me make this a bit bigger, who view the page, will be able to understand what is the main main heading and what is the sub heading okay let me just make this a bit bigger so that uh, sub heading okay so this is my answer for this question uh, Yes, one technique. I can give one reason. Resave task WA1 and then you're supposed to be printing task WA1. 